How you doing YouTube? Man with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And tonight we're going to be going on the darker side of beer. Uh, we're going to be doing a Russian Imperial Stout. <clears throat> How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. We're going to be going a little bit darker tonight, um, darker set of beer with a nice little Russian Imperial Stout, or what we hope is a nice Russian Imperial Stout by Distrus Brewery um, from Belgium. Um, this is a bit of a weird beer. Um, I did a little research on it. Um, uh, it's it's a Belgian brewed Russian Imperial Stout made for that originated exclusively exclusively as a stout brewed for a pub in the United States. So that is a little bit weird. Um, there's a bunch of stuff written on this label as far as like where it comes from and what's it about, but um, it's upside down. The label's actually put on upside down, so I don't want to turn it upside down to read it because I'm not one of those people who can read stuff upside down. So what we're going to do, we're going to go a little bit different and give it a good pour, and then I'm going to flip it upside down and read it. So there you go. Take a little bit different, um, but hey, different is good sometimes. So yeah. That, my friends... It is a Russian Imperial Stout. Yeah. Nice head on that sucker, though. I mean, it's 13% alcohol, um, and that's got a nice little head going on there. I mean, about a finger's worth of a coffee-style head. Um, so, yeah. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, Label-wise, it's actually a super badass label. This is probably one of my favorite labels of beer I've had in, in a while. Something about it, like, if you just look... You probably can't see because I can't bring it too close, but it's got this nice kind of graphic on there, almost this like Aztec-y kind of um, Mayan style um, art. And it just for some reason, everything about this label looks awesome to me. It says on here, Black Albert, uh, Royal Stout. Um, on here it says Struis Brewery, uh, BA number 14, BRS Brew, 30% alcohol, government warning, yada, yada, yada. Um, do I get a date on this sucker? It doesn't give me a date, so who knows what that is. Uh, it says, early April 2007, we were honored by an invitation from Chris Lively to attend uh, to the Ebenezer's Pub 3rd Annual Belgian Beer Festival. As a tribute to Chris, we decided to create a special brew for this event. Developing a new ale is always a challenge for every brewer, especially if one is talking about a new style, Belgian Royal Stout. This ale comes uh, with a bitterness of, uh, wow, 100 IBUs, um, uh, 160 EBC for color, and full-bodied um, Belgian character and the Struis signature. Although these extreme values, although all these extreme values, still a powerful, elegant, well-balanced Belgian royal stout. Enjoy this while listen. Enjoy this ale while listening to the Bel to the Belgium hymn. The Rachon, I guess you'd be able to pronounce that. Product of Belgium, brewed and crafted by the Struis Brewers from e for Ebenezer's Pub, Lovell, Maine. So that's pretty interesting. Rarely do you see um, a brewery go out of the way to make a bar in the United States of beer. So that's pretty cool. But like I said, overall label-wise, I mean, you know, even though it's upside down, um, it just looks it just looks awesome. I love everything about this label. I love everything there is. So big thumbs up on that. Head-wise... Not much less, no, not much less, not much left going on headwise with this sucker. Um, just a little bit going on. Do a little bit of that. You have a nice cascading head. It's blown back up a little bit. So it's a definitely an active and beautiful looking beer. Um, color wise, it is dark as hell. I mean, that's not red. That's uber brown, if not black. Um, it looks like it was bottle conditioned so that. Upside down, this probably didn't do us any favors, but eh, again, I'm not a big fan of uh, missing the funk. I like the funk, so it'll work for me. But yeah, it looks quite quite beautiful. I mean, almost mesmerizing carbonation. Like if I roll this around lightly, it just foams around the edges. It just looks so beautiful. This is a beautiful looking beer, but proof is in the smell and the taste, so let's see what we got going on here. That smells fantastic. That smells so good. That smells really, really good. Um, smells like your typical Russian Imperial Stout, even though it's a Belgian Royal Stout. Um, you know, just your 
chocolates and coffee, malt, roasted nuts. This smells really, really good. Doesn't smell overly dry. I hate my super, super dry um, Russian Imperial, so <clears throat> hopefully the nose is on the nose. But yeah, this smells fantastic. Just delicious in every aspect. It's like, you know, coffee and beer head, you know, baby. A little bit of chocolate. It's over a roasted nut fire. Oh, it smells delicious. Let's dig in. That's a good beer. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now, it reminds me a lot of John Courage. Or Courage, Russian Bureau Stout. It's that good. Like, this is a really good, really good stout. Just super flavorful. Everything that's in the nose, from the little bit of chocolate to the nuttiness to the um, coffee, a little bit of coffee, the malt, everything is right there in the taste that is in the nose. What you smell is what you get taste wise. <clears throat> that's always a wonder when it comes to a beer. Mm. That's just a really good beer. Wow. I didn't expect that. Well, has, I actually saw this bottle. Uh, looked at it a couple times um, at a uh, at this uh, to go place that I go to from now, from every, every now and then. It was a little bit pricey. It was nine dollars for a single bottle, and they only had it in singles. And I was like, eh, and today I just said, screw it, let me pick it up. And uh, totally, totally worth it. Absolutely a fantastic beer. Super great mouthfeel too. Like it's it's dense enough to be chewy, but Smooth enough to where it goes down without even a hint. Zero booze. I mean, 13%? Nothing. There's nothing there. I'm going to have to see if I can figure out a date code on this somewhere in this bottle. But, I mean, there's nothing going on. It definitely bottle condition. There ain't no light going in through that sucker. Excuse me. But, yeah, from mouthfeel to taste to everything, this is a fantastic beer. Rating-wise, I have to give it a 94. I mean, it's just, it's just that good of a... Excuse me. Wow, made me burp. Uh, that good of a beer? I mean, it's really, really that good from drinkability to mouthfeel to taste to nose to, to labels, everything. I mean, the whole package. This is a fantastic beer. If I can track more of this down at a reasonable price, I am definitely a fan of this. I mean, if anybody out there is a big fan of Russian Imperial Stouts, not super dry ones like your um, um, Uncle Jacob's from Avery or your Courage. Or what was another one I had that was really, really good? I just slipped my mind right now. But that style of uh, Russian Imperial Stout, just, I mean, if you're a fan of that, definitely, definitely, definitely pick this up. This is a really good beer. Um, so, yeah, like 90, 90 mid 90s, you know, um, score wise. Um, availability, I've only shoot at one place ever. So, availability, I have to give it a big fat two. Um, just because I've never seen it before. But I know where to get it. And it's not that far. It's actually five minutes from my house. So, I'm going to have to go get more. Uh, and price wise, like I said, I mean, nine dollars is worth it, but it's not that great of a value. But it is a really, really good beer, so I don't have to give it a six. Just I mean, it's a really good beer, but you want this to be like twenty-five to thirty dollars a four pack. So I mean, it's close to that. So five, six, maybe on a value scale, somewhere right around there. And overall, really great beer. Yeah. So Black Albert Royal Stout from Struis Brewery, made for. Of a, a bar in uh, where what where was it again? Um, Maine was it? Yeah, Lovell, Maine. That's just it's a weird notion altogether. But overall, fantastic beer. If you're into that style, definitely a beer you want to check out. And if you're into good beer, pick it up because it's just that good. Another review in the books. Matt with Matt's beer reviews. Hoping you enjoyed the review. If you did enjoy the review, leave a comment, like, and share and all that stuff below. If you don't like the review, leave some comments how you don't like it or uh, tell us what kind of beers you want to try or uh, any uh, anything from praise to critiques, we're all for it. Uh, if you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Massive Beers. Uh, as I always say, we're infinitely more active on Twitter, so if you want to check us out there, or not Twitter, sorry, Instagram, uh, definitely check us out there, follow us there, we put uh, review updates, um, re review previews, uh, pictures of beer we're drinking but not reviewing, and uh, we put contests up there, and all kinds of fun stuff, so definitely check us out there, and yeah, 
another one down. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a great beer like this one. And hopefully we see you next time. Cheers.